Hail my renaissance men and women. Today we got a little special. We're just up here on top of the mountain. Let's get a good look here. Take a look down here. We're on top of a mountain right now, folks. It's a long drop. gonna do today whenever I'm out camping or something I don't like to bring bread so I like to bring up a little mixture of uh, just a little bread mix we got here bread slash bannock whatever you want to call it call it what you will I like to I like to pre-make this at home put it in a ziploc bag it's nice and small so you can carry it if you're going on a long hike or something you don't want to take up much space there's quite a bit of bread here so Today we're gonna do a uh, smoky, put it on a stick, wrap that baby in bannock and cook her up. See how it is. Hope you enjoy this one. Get yourself a nice uh, stick here to put your smoky on. this spark off first. We're just going to toast it a bit in the fire, harden it up. I want to catch it on fire, just give it a little toast. Strengthen up that wood. So, a little nice handle there if you want. This, just like that. Want to burn all these, all this wood down, get some nice charcoals. Okay, so my bannock recipe is uh, two and a half cups of flour is in here. Uh, about a heaping spoonful of brown sugar. Two, two tablespoons of baking powder and uh, just a little teaspoon of salt put in there. Mix it all up and that's about it. I'm just gonna use this bowl here. Dump it all in there. And all this mixture is gonna take one cup of water. I like to add my water gradually. We just get dirty with our hands. Fire is warm. It's good out here. We've been kneading up our bannock here. It's getting pretty nice. We're just gonna add one final ingredient. Just a couple uh, tablespoons of canola oil. Get that in our mixture there. Kneading her up a bit more. Your best kind of oil is gonna be vegetable oil. You don't want to use uh, olive oil and stuff. Vegetable oil is gonna be your best one better for on high heat and stuff like an open fire. Okay, our bannock's just over there resting, so we got these uh, Johnson gluten-free Smokies made in Chilliwack, BC. Thanks, Johnson. Tried these gluten-free out. Not a big gluten-free fan, but uh, let's see what they're all about. I'm gonna cook my Smokie a bit first before I Rapid and banning. Run that stick right up or just like you're putting a worm on a hook. Just gonna cook 
that up a bit. All the way for that bannock to rest. How's that sound? It's waking up real nice here. Beautiful night out here, top of this mountain in British Columbia. Smokey's cooking up nicely. I got a little piece of bannock here. Just keep beating her, beating it, pounding it. Pretty big cheese. I'm gonna wrap that smoky up in this bannock. Stretch her out a bit. Working it with your hands, the more you work it, the better it's gonna be. And we got a hearty piece of bannock here. Just gonna take our smoky. We used a bit too much bannock, but we're just gonna go for it. No rules out here. How the natives used to make their bannock on a stick. We're just wrapping ours around a stick and a smoky. So a little bit different. Same idea. Alright, we're gonna let this cook in the fire here for a bit. Just chill, relax, keep it easy. Looking good. It's bannock and sausage. Smoky. It's gonna be hot. Here we go. Mm. Not too shabby. That's really good. Could use some sort of Maybe some cheese drizzled over it or something. Be even better. But for a campfire meal, you can't go wrong with smoky on a stick wrapped in bannock. Fire old folks. That's it for this one. Bannock on a stick. Great survival food. Take it hunting, camping, fishing, go on a long hike. Grab a bag, a Ziploc bag, fill it with your ingredients and you're good to go. As long as you have a water source nearby, you just boil up some water and make your bannock and enjoy. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. I'll leave the ingredients for the recipe in the description. Peace for now.